Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. This time around, we're going to talk about the uh, four different types of OSPF areas and how to configure those areas. So we have four different types of areas. The first one is a normal. So a normal area, your backbone or your area zero is always going to be a normal area and your other areas may or may not be normal. Um, so a normal area carries all types of LSAs or routes. It can have regular routes. It can have summary routes. It can have external routes coming from a, an autonomous system boundary router that have been redistributed into OSPF. Uh, and lastly, it can have a default gateway. So any type of LSA uh, or route is allowed in, in the normal area, with the exception of a type 7, which we'll talk about uh, later. Um, the stub area is um, for, say, a small office or let's say you're a retail operation and you have multiple stores. Those stores don't necessarily need to talk directly to each other. They need to talk to the backbone. So they need a summary route. They need a default gateway, but they don't need to know each individual store route uh, and they don't have external routes. So they don't have an autonomous system boundary router or another router doing redistribution from another link. So, um, so those would be stub areas. Um, next we have a not so stubby. So a not so stubby here is a special case. So it works exactly like a stub where it can have uh, summary routes, it can have a default gateway, it cannot have regular routes. Um, but in this case, normally a stub area is not allowed to have external routes uh, or, or routes from an ASBR. <clears throat> so a not so stubby is in a, in a special case where you have an ASBR or a router doing redistribution. So it takes, uh, it makes a special kind of LSA called a type seven. It takes those external type sevens and passes them to the ABR, which converts them into a type five LSA, which is a regular external LSA um, and passes them into the backbone. But normally external routes would not be allowed in here. So if it wasn't for those type sevens of a not so stubby, um, they, they would not be allowed to pass those external routes from the ASPR. And then lastly, a totally stubby area, you know, maybe it's a home office or a small office that all they need to know is for whatever you're trying to, to reach, go to the backbone, right? So a total stubby area doesn't pass any LSAs except for a summary default gateway. So the default gateway is the only kind of LSA you're going to get into that stub area. So it just says, no matter what you're trying to do, go to the backbone, let the backbone routers deal with it. So let's have a look at how to configure these. So we'll hop on a router here. Um, and for everything, we're going to do go to uh, router OSPF. And uh, so your backbone is always going to be a normal area. So we'll do just area zero. That's all we need to do for a normal, right? Uh, stub area, area one, uh, stub. And then it requires us to put in an external route metric. So we'll say it's a route metric of two. We'll create an area two. Um, in this case, we'll create a not so stubby. So NSSA, uh, and it wants the same thing. So it wants an external. And then lastly, we're gonna create an area three, uh, which is gonna be a stub with our external metric again, and then no dash summary. So as you can see, that stub is exact, the, the, the totally stubby, it's exactly the same as a stub, it's just that it's a stub without summary routes. So therefore it's a stub no summary. So how do we see what those areas are looking like now? Uh, we do a show IP OSPF area, and it's gonna show us our areas uh, and their types here. So normal, stub, uh, NSSA, and this is our totally stubby. It doesn't show you as totally stubby here, but yeah, it is from the configuration. So um, about as easy as that. And uh, I hope you uh, got something out of this, and thanks for joining.